This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred in New Hampshire. Delighted to be joined by Kaylee Reese. Kaylee, a bit weird doing this on your side of the pond for once. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? It's weird to be here and hearing your voice and not in the UK, <laughs> but I'm good, doing very well. How are you? That's good to hear. No, I'm good. It's nice to be here. Uh, let's talk about you. You got yourself a fight. Uh, the Road to Undisputed Tournament well underway now. Jessica Kamara, Friday night. All the talking's almost done. Must be nice doing it. It's pretty much here now. It's here. It's finally here. It's um, I'm feeling great. I feel like it's ca- happened right on time. Um, and I'm just ready to have some fun on Friday, honestly. Let's talk about Jess Kamara then. I'm sure you've seen plenty of her. What do you make of her as a fighter? What does she do well? She's fierce. She, uh, you know, her one of the things that I saw, especially commentating her last two fights, was her composure. She's able to keep her composure and to listen to her corner very, very well. You know, when she fought Melissa St. Ville, she had that big hematoma on her face from the start of round two, I believe, and she listened to her corner and she held her composure. And from that fight to fighting Heather Hardy, um, she made a lot of adjustments and she got a lot better. And you know, she made statements saying she wants to beat the Jessica Kamara that beat Heather Hardy, which means she's hungry, she's still learning. So I love that about her. Like I said, I had the pleasure to um, commentate her last two fights, and I just love that she keeps growing, and she's going to bring a fierce fight, so I'm ready for it. You mentioned you were kind of covering her last two fights. Did you know at that point these paths are going to cross at some point? Was that on your mind? No, and it's funny because, you know, on the ride to and from the weigh-ins and the fights, we were, you know, I'll we'll never fight each other. I never crossed my mind that I'd be fighting her. I didn't really think I'd go down to 140. Um, at those times and when I did make the drop to 140 and I covered her Heather Hardy fight I thought never thought you know I never thought that I'd be fighting her um, but you know she kudos to her for coming up and taking the opportunity and taking this fight you know part of this historic tournament so it's gonna have some fun on Friday. You're here as a fighter but I don't want to ask you about Kaylee Reese the pundit because you were over on the broadcast in the UK some very good feedback I'm sure you saw it how much do you enjoy that side of things? I love it I love all aspects of this being on you know the coach side the you know the commentary side the, you know any anything if we're talking boxing if you know we can crack a couple of jokes I'm all for it so it was it was a pleasure doing that and you know life during and after boxing who knows maybe I have another career. <laughs> Let's talk about the fight that you were covering. Uh, the other side of the road to undisputed tournament saw Chantal Cameron and Mary McGee. Chantal Cameron becoming unified champion. What did you make of her performance? Oh, that was an excellent performance. I mean, she, again, stepped it up. Every fight, she's getting better and better. She had a perfect game plan against a very game opponent. Um, it takes two to make a fight, so big ups to both Mary McGee and Chantal Cameron. And I know she's going to go back to the drawing board and do some more adjustments and get even better. Um, and I know she's she's you know gunning for me to come out the victor so we can have an excellent fight in 2022 for the finals. Yeah, I believe she is coming out to watch, but I just wanted to talk to you about your, your training. Obviously, I mentioned the only time you and I seem to see each other is in the UK. You've been over with Ebony, you've been over doing different things, promoting the road to an undisputed tournament. How much time have you had back here to, to get fully settled and fully focused on this fight and nothing else? I mean, when I was uh, there for the Chantel uh, Cameron and Mary McGee fight, I had the pleasure of having a whole full week of camp in the UK with quality, quality sparring with a bunch of girls. Um, so, you know, it was right on schedule. I was walking around there at 143, 144 pounds, you know, in great shape. So we've been working in this camp. Um, and just the traveling really is kind of like a, you know, second nature to me. So it really didn't take anything away from it. Actually added a lot of um, a, a lot of things I needed for the work. So training camp has gone well and uh, we're right on schedule, um, you know, eating waffles in the morning. So <laughs> it's great. You and I both. Uh, look, <laughs> moving on, look. This weekend, um, Chantal Cameron is going to be here. She thinks you will come out victorious. Uh, with that in mind, if that is the plan and, and you do come out victorious on Friday night, are you willing to travel for that fight? I mean, I'm sure I'm really, really uh, willing to travel, but, you know, you a champion, Chantel, so we can do it on neutral grounds here in the U.S. You know, you don't have to have the comfort of your hometown. I'm just saying I would love to fight in the U.K. in front of U.K. fans, but, you know, fair is fair, so we just kind of have to go cross that bridge when we get there but I'm just saying Chantel you know we could fight in Vegas or something neutral ground US <laughs> I can ask her about that tomorrow when she gets here but look um, with the, when it's all laid out like this when you've got a road to undisputed tournament a very unique format how much does the motivation just go from here to a level above when you know it's, it's all laid out now it's all on you win two fights and you're undisputed champion of the world that's got to really trigger something in there I think it's it, it's given me so much more motivation it's kind of a new fire under my ass so to speak um 
Number one, because two out of the three other potential opponents are my, my stable mates and my friends. Um, so I think that's motivation itself. And then when you know what's ahead of you, you know, as fighters, we don't really know that. And it usually doesn't happen the way we're told. So to know what fights are coming, I think that's why, I, you know, I was going to train hard regardless. But that was like the extra edge I needed because, you know, when I'm training, I'm like, no, I got these two fights ahead of, me, ahead of me, these two potential fights ahead of me for sure. Like, this is too undisputed. It's not a question that it could happen. It's definitely going to happen. So it's been one of my key motivators um, on top of everything else that motivates me to keep going and training hard. I gotta ask you about the, the boxing at the weekend. You were telling me off camera you've sparred with Alicia Baumgartner. Guessing it didn't come as big a surprise to you as it perhaps did to some other people the way she, she dismantled Terry Harper. Not at all. I mean I I've I known um Alicia for a few years now and I actually had the pleasure to spar with her um when I was helping Ivana Habazin um for her fight against Clarissa Shields. And I knew she was something special and when I got on the other end of that and actually really saw that and I, I've always known she had the hunger and, um, you know, the willingness to put in the work. And she comes from a doghouse of a, of a gym. You know, they are very skilled. They're, you know, very knowledgeable. And I was so excited to see her at growth, even just in training. You know, I could see the difference in training. And I knew, I had no doubt in my mind. I could, just couldn't wait for the opportunity to come for her to show the world who she is. And I knew once she got the opportunity, she was not going to drop the ball. And she didn't drop the ball. She dropped the bombs, man. Whew. How good was that referee at the end when Terry Harper was gone on her feet? That that um, referee is one of the best I've seen. He had eyes on the fight really close from the beginning bell. He saved Terry Harper from a potentially, you know, maybe further injury or something. He he deserves an award because he saved, he had very eyes and he worked he um worked very very fast. So kudos to that that referee. Kaylee, Eddie Hearn told me after the fight that Terry Harper does have a rematch clause in there. Given the one-sided nature of it and, and the ending we saw, do you think she will take that? Do you think she should? I don't think she should. I think, you know, Ter Terry Harper has had a, a rough, maybe like 18 months, I mean, with the two hand injuries, and she just, she, she steps in there and she gives it her all. You know, big ups to her for even taking a fight back with somebody of an animal like Alicia Baumgartner. I mean, she didn't, the fight happened... They made the fight in, what, like four weeks? You know, she didn't blink an eye, eye uh, bat an eyelash, and she took the fight. So big ups to her. Regardless of the outcome, I know she's hungry. She wants it. Um, you know, I wouldn't. I hope she doesn't take that fight coming back because Alicia is something different. I think she deserves a, a step-up fight. You know what I mean? Something to get her, her confidence back, her skills back, her eyes um, back where they need to be. But I know she'll be back. I just don't think that is a smart move. Could be some... Huge all-female fights coming coming over at the U.S. Obviously, you want Chantel Cameron in Vegas if you win on Friday night. But also for Alicia now, if it's if it's not Terry Harper next, how big is that Michaela Maya fight over here, for example? That fight is huge. I am such a Michaela Mary and Alicia Baumgartner fan. Like I just love their work ethic and the fighters that they are. I think that's a huge fight. Um, you know. I that's gonna be like pandemonium in that area because with the build up between how they talk and how confident they are with themselves, um, that's a huge fight. I just want to be like ringside. I want to compensate that fight. <laughs> well, Kaylee, thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Best of luck on Friday. I'm sure I'll catch you soon. Thanks.